The reason for me to start delivering the provincial of sexual exploitation and abuse training goes back a long way. I started working in a refugee camp in a European country back in the early 80s. I was a young fellow back then, but immediately understood that there was a lot of sexual exploitation and abuse going on in the camp between the different people working in the camp and the refugees, and also between the refugees themselves. It was truly horrific, especially for the young single ladies who bore the, much of the brunt of the sexual exploitation and abuse. Back then, we did not have the luxury of the PSCA training or awareness. It was left to the good upbringing of the individuals. I spoke out openly to the camp authorities, but to no avail, until the refugees themselves rebelled because of the abuses and the perpetrators were transferred out. So, when finally the UN woke up to the sea matter and the PSCA training came through, I immediately jumped on the bandwagon and delivered the training myself because of my past first-hand experience and therefore a full understanding of the negative effects of C on all. By, de by delivering the PSCA course, I cascaded the zero tolerance message to my colleagues as a staff member, but also as a chief of mission who, was, who wants to protect colleagues from doing harm to others and also doing harm to themselves. The reaction of the staff in the missions where I have been chief of mission and done the PSCA trainings has always been that if the chief of mission himself makes time to do this, to do this, it must be really important for the mission and the organization. <clears throat> that is exactly the message that comes across. And for that reason, I continue to do this. To conclude, colleagues, I would like to appeal to my chief of mission colleagues. I know that many of you are already doing this as well, and my utmost respect goes to them for doing their PSA, PSA trainings to the colleagues. I also know that Chief of Missions are very busy, just like other staff members, and may have difficulties in doing this themselves. But let me also say that this is a priority, so let's be busy doing what is needed. And one of the many things needed is to be upfront in making time for the PSCA training. If not the full training, at least be there for part of it to show the importance of eradicating C at all levels. In short, zero tolerance. Thank you.